Good morning, it's Friday, January 28th, and this is your Daily Roar. I'm Ethan. And I'm CJ. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here's a question. Would you prefer to pick your classes for next year or have your counselor pick them for you? Pretty soon, 9th, 10th, and 11th graders will need to make cho class choices next year. And if you don't choose what you want, you might miss out on a class like this. Do you have previous experience playing a stringed instrument? Want to learn how to play a violin, a viola, a cello, or bass? Need a fine arts credit for graduation? Then you belong in orchestra. With course selections for next year right around the corner, Mr. Conrad wants you to consider joining the orchestra program in the fall. The orchestra program has earned recognition at the state and national level. Participates in performances, community service opportunities, and social events throughout the year. Sign up for orchestra today using the QR code here. If you have any questions, feel free to email Mr. Conrad or come by the orchestra room. That's room 829. Welcome back to Hot Takes. Today, we have a special episode for you guys. Today is a year in review. We're gonna look back at some of the takes that we've had from you guys throughout the year, and we're gonna grade them and see how they've been so far. So one of them would be the Bengals going to the Super Bowl. And as you know, if you've been keeping up with the, with the playoffs, the Bengals are one game away from making it to the Super Bowl. So that take has panned out pretty well. The other take, would have to be the Dolphins making the playoffs. They were one game shy of making the playoffs, and when that take was made, they were like seven games shy of making the playoffs. So the take was so close to hitting. It didn't hit, but it was so close. And then the last take would have to be one of the first ones, which is Lamar Jackson's not a top five quarterback. And back then, I disagree. Wait, it was a top five? I don't know what it was. It was top 10, I'm pretty sure. Whatever, if it was, he said he wasn't top five or top 10, He's definitely not top five right now. Herbert is better than him, and so is Joe Burrow. And, yeah, so those are how the takes panned out this year from 2021. So let's see what's going to happen in 2022. Goodbye. What's wrong with this video? If you have a wet and drippy drink, set it on a napkin instead of letting it drip on a desk or table. There's nothing worse than putting your hand on a desk and something makes your hand wet. I'm Nate. And I'm Mario. Education is the best friend. An educated person is respected everywhere. 